Hi, welcome to Second Earth Alternative. This is your host, Felipe Osorio. So some say that every day that passes on Earth, something new and mysterious happens. Sometimes things happen that are so strange they have no precedence, kind of like a once in a lifetime experience. Now July 20th, 2018 seems to have been one of those days for residents in Siberia. In a strange twist of fate, a chilling apocalyptic darkness befell on regions of Siberia, blanketing large regions estimated to be at least the size of Italy with a yellow-red haze, dark enough to warrant residents turning on their lights. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have said chilling, because according to most local residents, there didn't seem to be a dramatic temperature change or any discernible layer of dust. So what is it that occurred in Russia's cold Siberia? Well, nobody knows. Many local residents reported increased military activity in the area. Now, whether that was a result of military themselves or the presence of a weird phenomenon, possibly UFO or just any phenomenon unrelated, uh, that has yet to be determined. The Siberian Times reported a resident explaining, I couldn't see a thing without switching lights on. We took torches to walk outside, but no one wanted to be on the streets because the feeling was as if something was heavy in the air that was pressing on your chest. The air went dark, and it got darker and darker, but this time, unlike anything else we have seen before, the darkness had a rich yellow undertone. It was very unusual. Another explained, the day suddenly turned into a dark night. Now, Kostatin Starstonen, an official in Nichne Bintaski settlements, said that people who live here for many years said that they had never witnessed anything like this. Apparently, the darkness lasted for three hours, leaving residents with flashlights in their hands and I'm assuming just a lot of questions in their minds. So while theories that have been circulating the internet include dust from a meteorite strike or possibly a secret Kremlin weapons test and even UFOs. However, the specifics of the UFOs have not been clear. What is interesting, though, is that locals have reported that U.S. satellites seem to have picked up on a flash prior to the event which lends to the comet explosion or UFO theory. The only difficulty I'm having with this comet explosion is that I'm not sure if there is a precedence for such a hazing phenomenon. Meanwhile, small comets strike Earth just like on a daily basis. So given the rumor that US satellites pick, picked up a flash of light and suddenly military presence was all around, I'm actually beginning to lean towards the other explanations, either a weapons test or a UFO or other phenomenon still unexplained. To add to the mystery, Moscow Defense Meteorological Officials has failed to comment on the events, and another rumor is that there may have been increase in radiation. Now my first reaction was that this had to be some kind of like forest fire, specifically because smaller particles like haze or atmospheric layers will tend to block off the blue waves more than the red. So a scene like this would be very indicative of a sunset, a wildfire, or, or basically any phenomenon with small particles interacting. Also. Let's compare San Francisco July 1st fire with these pictures. Do you see the resemblance? Not to mention that one witness in Siberia described it as if a thunderstorm was coming. However, local officials seem to have dispelled this notion. Strangely enough, as much as a fire explanation would make sense, apparently there were no nearby fires. So. If it was a fire, it would have to be relatively far away, coupled with some strange atmospheric condition that would allow all of the smoke to travel thousands of miles and somehow be funneled into one location because as another resident said, the darkness was pitch black. What is interesting about the comet concept though, is that there was another event that occurred in India, appropriately nicknamed the Red Rain Phenomenon, where as you may have guessed, it rained red. Now, upon closer examination by a local professors, there seems to have been a type of life form with no typical DNA structures that was discovered alongside uh, rumors of a comet being incinerated in the atmosphere. So what are your thoughts? Did a comet explode? Was a UFO behind the incident? Was there some sinister government plan to test on remote regions in Siberia? Or was this simply a mutane forest fire with some strange atmospheric conditions? Please, I would love to hear all of your comments below, and if anybody has witnessed this or would like to share your pictures or videos or personal accounts, please email me at eafiles.contact at gmail.com. Now, for those who have not heard or noticed yet, 
Second Earth after a grueling eight months has finally been monetized by YouTube. So uh, to be honest, it doesn't really amount to like that much yet. I'm, I think I made less than a dollar yesterday, but that means we are running and we're not going anywhere. So uh, this was a huge relief for me. And I will say that I was a little bit upset that my Illuminati reptilian painting episode was deemed not fit for advertisers. Given that the episode was so factually informative and also that I didn't have a lot of conjecture outside of the correlations that I framed exactly as it was. So if you do want to see the evil episode that YouTube refuses to monetize, you can do so by clicking above. And thanks for joining me again. This is Felipe Osorio signing out.